In this video, I am going to be talking about how to use the validation group in ASP.NET. Uh, this is a very important uh, topic as well. Uh, sometimes you may have two independent forms that you want to validate, but because the button, because each of the button control on the form, we trigger the validation process of all the controls in the page that you need to group only the controls that are meant to work with different buttons in a group. So what that means is sometimes you have uh, different forms, maybe you have a form to register people for a certain group and you have another form to register people in another group. So what you want to do is if you do not group your controls into something called validation group, then it means that every time you click on any of the buttons, it's actually going to fire the validation uh, uh, of each of the uh, input field on the form. So you should set the validation group of the controls that that you want to group together with a particular button. So once the validation group is set, each form will be processed independent of what the other forms on the page, independent of the other forms of, uh, on the page. Submitting one form will not trigger the validation controls on the uh, the validation control of all the forms on the same page. So let's go ahead and look at an example because uh, just reading text doesn't actually make any sense. So this uh, this is I've taken the time out as usual to uh, create two panels, uh, two panels, and inside the panel, I've added the uh, two, I've added two text boxes and two labels and a button and the same here. And I've actually created and added the required field validator as well. So, so the required field validator, I'm not sure if I actually have um, associated associated it with any. Yes, I've actually uh, pointed it to the control to validate. I mean, these are all simple. I've talked about this in the previous videos. So, this required field validator is going to validate this one. The second one will validate uh, the text box too. The third one will validate the text box 3 as you can see here is changing so if I click on the last one it's validating the text box 4 so I've associated everything so this is a typical this is a normal kind of thing that you see on website every day when you have multiple forms in one page depending on what they want to do with it so if, but if I should click on this button it should, it's going to fire the, um, fire the uh, validation control on all the uh, uh, on how the uh, input field are being validated. So this is not the uh, the behavior that we want. We want this button to only be associated with this form and we want this particular button to be associated with this uh, form. So the way you do that is they're actually going to put these validation controls in, uh, in a group so that they know that the group that they're working with and it's very simple to do that. All you have to do is just uh, uh, set the name for so if I say for this required field validator the validation group so I want to put the validation group to be uh, panel 1 so because I've said that everything is in panel 1 so that one here yeah, I'm input any any uh, text value here as long as it all becomes the same thing it's just like the radio button when you group a radio button and you have to give them a group name so the validation group here is this one is also going to be panel 1 and don't forget to um, add the button also to the uh, validation group so now we have this three in a group so now let's put this one in the, uh, panel 2 group so this one is going to be panel Two group. Uh, this one also going to be in panel two. So as you can see, we have a lot of flexibility here. So that means you can actually add this to panel one. So which doesn't make sense, but there's a lot of flexibility on what you can do. So this one is also panel two. So now that we have grouped everything into validation groups, so if we run our website now, you're going to see that one valid one button will not trigger the. So this button, if I click on, is not going to trigger the. Uh, validation process in this uh, form so as you can see so this is only working with its own form and if I should click on this it's not it's got nothing to do with the form above here so this is the example of how you use the validation controls and it's going to be very useful when you're creating your website thank you